morning everyone. Welcome to day one of our backpacking trip of Buckskin Gulch and Priya Canyon. We're going to be through hiking 44.2 miles to Lee's Ferry. And last night we stayed at the Wire Pass Trailhead. We set up our tents there and then we signed in at the trail register. And now as you can see we're just about to enter the Narrows of Wire Pass. Here we are entering the first section of Narrows here in Buckskin Gulch. Check this out, one of the old ladders was washed down canyon and got caught on the walls right there. So we just left the confluence behind of Wire Pass and Buckskin Gulch. That was 1.7 miles. And now as we begin hiking through Buckskin Gulch, we're going to do 11.5 miles. So we're continuing through this open section. Notice the green trees in the canyon. And here we are passing another alcove. And just around the bend, yet another giant alcove. Really neat spot in the canyon as it tightens up again and some of the walls are black. A bend in the canyon.
a very resilient tree here. Right here, we did our first bypass, a section of a huge boulders. Love the contrast here with the flat steep wall on the left and the regular canyon wall on the right. Love how this right side canyon wall kind of curves around as so we go back into some more narrows. A lot of different colors up on the canyon wall here. It's another spot where it looks like we're walking straight to a dead end, but the canyon will turn left. Here's one of the more photogenic logs stuck in the canyon. And we've arrived at middle route right here. The escape route, a little bit sketchy if there's a flash flood. We've done 7.2 miles now. Passing by a wedged boulder or a chalk stone, huge right above us.
canyon has been a lot more open the last hour. We're just cruising through a pretty huge rockfall section, lots of boulders everywhere. Entering some very tight high narrows for the first time in quite a while. So as we continue working our way toward the end of Buckskin Gulch, just wanted to highlight a few of the dangers here in this canyon, things to be aware of, safety alerts. The biggest one of course is flash flood danger. So if there's any sign of rain anywhere between here and Bryce Canyon, this hike should not be done. And then also another danger would be rattlesnakes in the canyon. So you got to keep an eye out where you're walking. Also, being that this is one of the longest slot canyons in the world, you got to watch out for falling rocks from above. So. A lot of rocks here at the bottom of the canyon. They came from somewhere, from the walls and from up above. So be alert to falling rocks. Then finally, quicksand is a threat. Buckskin Gulch was dry during our hike, but at times it does have spots of quicksand, but mainly in Perea Canyon. That's something to be aware of. So we'll be on the alert for quicksand in the next few days. Check out the way this part of the wall has broken off and fallen to the right there, forming a little tunnel to walk under. Okay, and speaking about safety alerts, we reached the rockfall obstacle in Buckskin Gulch, right near the end. Very challenging spot to get down. See if some ropes have been placed here on the rock, but we gotta drop down through this little section. Okay, so let's try a pack lower right here. Fairly straightforward. Okay, step two, I'm gonna lower myself down carefully and slowly these two ledges. Now I'm going to use this rope and hope that it's stable. Go up to my knee. Step three, Jordan's up there putting it on my pack, which he's going to start to lower down. Here it comes. Got it. Okay, Jordan's doing step four, which is bringing himself down. You made it. So we have a little stream here in Buckskin Gulch as we approach the mouth. Well, we made it to the campsites at the end of Buckskin Gulch after hiking about 13 miles today. Uh, there's two campsites, one on each side of the stream here. And we got one that's kind of low toward the ground, but there's 0% chance of precipitation in the forecast. So we feel comfortable here just for tonight. So we're gonna set up our tents. Okay, so we have finished setting up camp above 
Buckskin Gulch, the wash down below. There's Jordan's tent. There's my tent and our little cooking and sitting area there. And some beautiful greenery. So Jordan, uh, what, what did you think about our hike today down Buckskin Gulch, 13.2 miles? Uh, it was amazing. Obviously I'm a little tired, but um, the views are incredible. I understand now why Buckskin Gulch is uh, considered to be so impressive. I'm really looking forward to uh, what comes next because everything we covered today could have been done in a day hike. I'm glad we get to take the time to rest at camp, but um, tomorrow I'm really looking forward to what we see. Well, that's going to do it for day one here. We had a Great day, hiking about 13 miles down Wire Pass and Buckskin Gulch. Really enjoyable with the dry conditions, nice lighting, and nice temperature out. Gorgeous day for hiking. So we have a big day in store tomorrow. I'll tell you about that when we wake up. Good night, everyone. Approaching the confluence, some very impressive scenery down at the bottom of Buckskin Gulch. Okay, we are now standing at the confluence. This is Upper Priya Canyon, right here. And moving over here, Buckskin Gulch, we just came out of here. And finally, looking down Lower Priya Canyon. Good morning everyone and welcome to day two of our Buckskin Gulch and Priya Canyon hike. This morning to start off the day we're doing a morning hike, six miles round trip. We're going to head up Priya Canyon to see Slide Rock and the rest of the Narrows. And then we're going to come back down to camp, pack up, and head down to Big Springs. So let's go check out the upper portion of the Priya Canyon Narrows. As you can see, the upper Priya is quite dry compared to most years. Some pools, but makes for easier walking. Well, a half mile up Priya Canyon from the confluence, we've arrived at Slide Rock. This is the south side of it. Notice again, the ground is very tr dry, surprisingly so. So just walking underneath it now. And here is slide rock from the north side on the right there. Love the patterns on this rock.
the canyon has really started to open up. I think we're just about to the end of the Narrows. All right, we've reached our turnaround point here up Priya Canyon. We've done just about three miles, just a few minutes up ahead. You can see that the canyon opens up wide. So this is a good spot to turn around and head back to camp. We are just arriving back at the confluence after our hike back of three miles. Went quite quick. Okay, so we're back at the confluence and now you can see we have our backpacking gear on. We're going to backpack 5.2 miles to Big Spring. Checking out the water flow as we get started here. See, there is some water here. It's going to keep growing in size as we go. But right now, we don't have to get wet. When I hiked Buckskin Gulch and Priya Canyon 10 years ago with my friend Mel, I did it as a day hike from Wire Pass to White House. So now starting just a short time ago at the confluence, this is all a portion of canyon I've never seen before. So it's really exciting to me. First spring, these hanging gardens, very pretty. It's really coming out there, back in there, you can hear it. Really neat turn in the canyon right here.
This is a very impressive alcove, perhaps the most impressive I've seen. See these white stain lines on the rock? Probably how high the flash flood gets as they come through here from time to time. I picked up these new trail runners just for this trip and they've really been good in the water. Notice the drainage ports on the side. Right after I walk through water, it lets water back out and I'm not sloshing around. We are now arriving at Big Spring, which will be our camping spot for night two. So we're just looking for a campsite here at Big Spring. Wow, a lot of camping space here. Look at all this. So yes, we have arrived at Big Spring and we're gonna be setting up camp here in a moment. And then, it's gonna be time for some fresh spring water as I'm just about out. Started with two gallons when we began the hike and now I'm down to just whatever's left in my bladder or reservoir. Okay, camp is all set up. There's my tent and Jordan's tent there in red. And what a beautiful campground at Big Spring. Look at our scenery here. It's kind of neat there's no other campers at Big Spring tonight. Who knows, some may come in later, but just us for now. I'm gonna walk down to Big Spring and show it to you. Take a closer look at the water sources. So I'm just across the water looking at Big Spring. There's a spring on the left and on the right. So let's take a closer look at each of those. So one of the things we were saving for Big Springs is some nice black cherry lemonade as a treat for getting here. So I'm going to go ahead and mix them up now. Ah, worth the wait. So Jordan, we just got to Big Spring. I was wondering what you thought of our 
day two hike up and down Priya Canyon? Uh, beautiful. Priya Canyon is really pretty. I really loved a lot of the uh, textures on the walls. I really like getting to hike next to the river. Obviously, I'm excited we got here at camp with still plenty of daylight left. And so, uh, excited for what's to come, but really happy with what I've seen today. Well, that's a wrap for day two here on the Buckskin Gulch and Priya Canyon hike. We've now done 18.4 miles of the route, plus we did six additional day hiking miles today. So tomorrow, we're gonna be heading to Shower Spring and I'll tell you more about that when I wake up. Good night, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day three of our Buckskin Gulch and Priya Canyon hike. Last night, we had some bats flying around this morning, Raven's walking around camp. But we're about to hit the trail. We're gonna do 9.8 miles to Shower Spring, which will be our next camp. And before that, though, we're gonna take a little side trip into Rather Canyon to see Rather Arch. So it's time to hit the trail. see that the river depth has greatly increased it's a lot deeper So as we started out this morning at Big Spring, we have four miles of narrows left here in Priya Canyon. I've already done over a mile, but very soon it sounds like it's gonna be opening up quite a bit. bend in the canyon right here. jam here in the river so we're going to use a bypass trail on the left
Notice how the canyon is a lot more open now. We are well past the narrows. Lately there's been a lot of vegetation on both sides of the river, kind of forcing us into the river, which I don't mind because it feels good. doing quite a bit of direct river walking as we are just about to the turnoff for Rather Canyon. Okay, so we found the turnoff for Rather Canyon. We're gonna go up and check Rather Arch and see what it looks like. So we dropped our heavy packs and we're gonna head up the side trail now. of cactus in bloom, seeing them everywhere. Passing by a really high wall, so we take a left here. Path falls to the base of this wall right here. Passing by a really huge alcove. This is really neat. So we finally spotted the arch. It's been a challenging bushwhack at times, but we're almost there. Such a great view up here at the top by the arch. The arch is right there in the middle of the video. Very close to it, but we can't see through it at this point in their shadows. The last part of the trail has been steep and challenging. As you can see, I'm just about to the arch there. And I made it to the arch. Behind me, you can see Rather Arch, a quite impressive natural arch found on a side trail up Rather Canyon. 
Now the hike up here was extremely challenging, especially toward the end. So this side hike will not be for everyone. Oh, it feels good. All right, just cooled off there in the water after hiking a rather arch. And now we're going a little over a mile further downstream to Shower Spring, where we're gonna set up camp for the night. So we're on the final stretch to Shower Spring. See that pyramid-shaped peak ahead of us? Shower Spring is probably just before that. It's at the end of this long straightaway we're heading down. Very close to that pyramid shaped peak and Shower Spring. So we've arrived at Shower Spring and set up camp. And I'm gonna give you a short tour of my tent and then we're gonna go get some water. So here's my tent. I'm sleeping with the cover off tonight because it's been so warm today. So got my clothing and food over here, my bedding, my pad, sleeping bag and pillow, then a couple empty water jugs to fill up. And then I keep my backpack in the tent just for weight since it's so windy. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so Shower Spring is just across the stream from our campground. You see somebody has an arrow marked here, sort of made out of rocks. And that leads directly across here to this path. So let me climb through that and see where it goes. Okay, just climb that initial embankment and I'm See what's around the corner here. A lot of reeds. Oh, here is some of the fresh water from the spring. I hear water pouring. Oh, it's pretty deep. It's up to my knees right now. See what's going on over here. This must be shower spring right here. Look at this, very pretty. So I'm gonna fill up here at shower spring. I have to use a different filter, the bag filter, because uh, the other kind will not work. So I'm gonna collect some water. Okay, a three liter container. That took about two minutes to get three liters out of there. As you can see, this will take a while to do a couple gallons. So we need experience here filling up our water at Shower Spring. Got this filled up, all of our gallons. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back to camp. See how deep it is here. So just got back to dry land. Jordan found this path off to the right. It's actually a shortcut to camp. So this makes it a lot easier when we need to get water again in the morning. So Jordan, what did you think of day three backpacking, including our side trip to Rather Arch? I really liked it, hiking along the Priya River. I think I made the comment earlier, it was like hiking along the Nile. There's a lot of beautiful growth on both sides. 
We had a lot of beautiful canyons. As for Rather, highlight of the day, Rather Valley was beautiful. I said when I went through there that I could live in there. That's still true. We saw a lot of uh, desert flowers. I really like those. Well, day three has come to an end here on the trip and just wanted to recap. We hiked from Big Spring to Shower Spring as far as our backpacking, a little under 10 miles. But we also did that side trip up to Rather Arch. And I guess I should throw a safety alert in here. The hike to Rather Arch was really hard. There's some bushwhacking through brush and then especially toward the top it gets very very steep but it was quite beautiful really nice day out on trail we got two days left so i'll see everyone in the morning good morning everyone welcome to day four of our priya canyon and buckskin gulch backpacking trip we've woken up here at our campground at shower spring packed everything up had some breakfast so our next objective will be to get to last reliable spring which is exactly three miles from here. We're gonna check that out, maybe top off our water and then continue. But from right here at Shower Spring, there's 16 miles left in the route. We're not sure how far we're gonna to go today. We're gonna to kind of just play it by ear and stop where we want to. We spotted a big sand dune up there high on the cliffs. Looks pretty neat from down here. I've never seen anything quite like this. There's a sand fall coming down right there. That giant sand dune is above this area and sand is literally just pouring down like a waterfall. Okay, we've reached last reliable spring. We've done three miles now since we left camp. So we're gonna top off some of our water containers. There's several options at Last Reliable Spring, but this seems to have the best drip. It's the best way to describe it. Very deep pool here and a lot of rock fall through here. Tricky to navigate through all this. Just got through a very difficult one mile of continuous rock fall. So trying to find Routes on each side of the river, giant boulders clogging the river. A lot of work. 
but it looks like it's opened up a little bit here. Currently on a long bypass trail above the right side of the river. And lots more rock fall. It'll give this hard section to navigate through just above the river. from up here on the high trail. This section is called the slabs. Some giant slabs of rock that you have to step over very carefully because there's some chasms below. Definitely wouldn't want to fall down there. So we're back down by the river once again. We had the long high trail, just went up again and came back down to the river. We've now done eight miles today and there's eight miles left back to our parked vehicle. So we're gonna try to do about four more today to make it easier for tomorrow. But it, it's been a difficult day. It's very hot out. The wind is blowing fiercely. And a lot of time we've been away from the water, which is not nice. So. Looks like we're gonna hike by the water right now for a while. That'll be refreshing. We have been drinking quite a bit of water today and we're in need of some, so we're gonna go ahead and filter directly from the Priya River. Usually the Priya runs muddy, but it's running clear right now. So we're hoping it won't clog up our filter. Perfect. So we stopped hiking after 10 miles today 
around the Wilson Ranch area. And we just set up camp here. We're gonna sleep here for the night, for our final night. So let me show you what camp looks like. Okay, so once again, we found a very nice campground. Here's Jordan's tent, a couple logs to sit on and cook. And there's where I've set up my tent for this evening. And also wanna show you, check out these beautiful trees right above our tent and campground. Also check out this view we have at camp. Such a pretty spot. So Jordan, what did you think about our 10 mile hike from Shower Spring to Wilson Ranch today? A part of why I like to go hiking in general is like chasing that awe moment. Like you turn the corner and you see something and you're like, wow, I can't believe that exists. And I feel like I got that every day and that includes this day. I was just every turn, I saw more and more things. I saw a lot of the beautiful colors in the rock canyon walls. I got to see a lot of the water cascading into falls. It was truly a beautiful experience. Today, however, very much turned into man versus nature. Nature obviously wins. And uh, we were forced to add a few extra water stops on our day. Well, that's a wrap for day four here on a backpacking trip. A really hard but fun day. We did some high trails high above the river, but we also spent a lot of time crisscrossing the river, going back and forth, keeping cool, keeping our feet wet. So it turned out to be a nice day and a beautiful campsite, beautiful evening here. We'll see you in the morning, everyone. Good night. Good morning, everyone. We're literally just leaving camp and we're about to begin our six mile hike back to the Colorado River in our vehicle. So far there's been quite a few river bypass trails where we allows you to cut bends in the river. Passing by some really neat canyon walls. Interesting rock. Canyon walls on our left side are also very impressive. we've arrived at the spot where the Priya River flows into the Colorado River. And that completes our backpacking trip of Buckskin Gulch and Priya Canyon. We did 44.2 miles of backpacking, plus we did side hikes totaling seven miles, which included our 
trip up Priya Canyon and uh, as well to Rather Arch. So it was really an incredible experience. Really enjoyed it. Very, very hard, but just so beautiful. Jordan and I had a just an amazing time out here. Thanks so much for joining us on this adventure. <laughs>